So C A B F E D. All right, C A B F E D is uh, my two triangles. I'm going to pair my sides up. So C A pairs up with F E. Uh, a B pairs up with E D, and uh, C D pairs up with C D pairs up with sorry F E. So there's my sides. So it's like in here. So A C is twenty. C D is four X minus six. D E is three X plus twenty one. D e, X is twenty four. F D e is X plus twenty seven. Sine is going to be. So this is the same setup as the last one that we did on the cell. So there is no chance that I'm going to be able to get um, A B in one step because I don't know information about both of them. And that can be tough to be able to work your way around because you're like, well, I know the yellow ones, so I'll put the yellow ones right here, and then I'll make a blue fraction right here. And you want to do that because that's the most logical way in your head to do it when you first look at it. But the problem is, there's nothing I can write right here for the blue fraction. I can't make an X because there's already an X in the problem, and I can't have two X's in the same problem. So the only option is I have to make this a green fraction because I have information about both of the green sides. All right. And again, I if you did 12, I said the same thing. I know this is a completely insane concept to some of you because you're like, why would I do this? I don't want to know what the green sides are. But the rationale is one of two things. Either you realize that there's no way you can do the problem without knowing what X is, or you're like, I just don't want to read this plan. So I have to do something that I know makes sense. All right, so I've got this. So it's going to give me 20x uh, plus 540 equals 96x minus 144. Find A B, I'm gonna to need to know what this is right here. All right, three times nine plus twenty-one. That's twenty-seven plus twenty-one is forty-eight. All right, so now I know that's forty-eight. I can actually do the problem right now because I know this is twenty, I know this is twenty-four, I know this is forty-eight. I'm gonna go find that. If you didn't realize that you might have went ahead and plugged this back into this, this would be nine plus twenty-seven, that'd be thirty-six. This would be four times nine minus six, that'd be thirty. Okay, so I've got those numbers also. Okay, but I didn't need those numbers because now my second step is to set up a second proportion. I'm going to have a yellow fraction, and I'm now going to have a blue fraction, which is what I wanted in the beginning. And I'm going to do 20 over 24. 48 is the larger triangle, and I'm going to call this Y because I already had an X in the problem. And I'm going to cross multiply, and I'm going to get 24 Y equals 960. Y equals 160. I'm going to get Y equals 40. So my missing side like that. Okay, again, very involved. It's not overly complicated. And the math that we have to do, um, you know, but I've really got to be willing to do this part right here, kind of on blind faith. Because I don't really, maybe I'm not really sure why I'm doing it, but it's necessary to solve the problem.